Namaste. This is a very important announcement. We need your help. Buzzfeed, Vox, and Vice need your help. Buzzfeed, Vox, and Vice are running out of money. Advertising revenue is low. There's nothing they can do. They've asked for donations like a tramp wanting to get drunk. And no one's given them anything. We need to save these beloved institutions. You may say, why? Why do we need Buzzfeed, Vox, and Vice? Well, I'll tell you why. Imagine a world where there is no divisive, race-baiting bullshit articles. A world where journalists actually fact-check. A world where clickbait titles are no longer commonplace on Facebook to keep you amused because your life is so shit. Imagine a world where thousands of YouTubers have no more content to make videos on. Well, that's the bloody world without them lot in it, right? All we ask for is you to donate. Small, manageable sum of $1,600 a month. And if enough of us do that, we can save BuzzFeed Vox and Vice. Once more can we have headlines such as 15 things white people should do on Halloween without offending people. Or classic Vice titles like <laughs> And now here is brave little Sabah. The most unlucky Syrian little boy to have ever lived. With his own personal appeal on behalf of BuzzFeed, Fox and Vice. Little Sabah. Hello, I am brave little Sabah from Syria. With the no arms and no legs. I am brave because Barack Obama bombed my village in a drone strike, killing all of my family and leaving me with no arms and no legs. But it is fine because he can play basketball and he is cool. I am also little because I have no legs and therefore I am much shorter than your average child. But I want to talk about people who are less fortunate than me and that is the people of BuzzFeed, Vox and Vice. Without your support of $1,600 a month, they might actually have to go do something good with their lives and perhaps become better people. But that is no good. Many nights when we are in our shelter, we like to read the BuzzFeed articles. This is something that we find very amusing because they all talk about their problems and we laugh. <laughs> we laugh so much because you have no problems. I have problems. I have no arms and no legs and all my family are dead because Barack Obama bombed my village. But it is fine, because he did a mic drop. Please donate your money so BuzzFeed, Fox and Vice can continue to do their great work by enlightening and making smiles upon all of us orphan children in Syria by showing us how the Western world is imploding on itself. Thank you very much. Back to you, Billy Bronco. I am Brave Little Sabah, signing out. He is little because he has no legs. He is brave because he has no legs. Or arms. And now a message from Matty Martok. I fucking love BuzzFeed. What? No, Vox and fucking... You know, Vice? Don't say Vice. Fuck that shit. Last Vice documentary I watched was proper fucking weird, I tell you, right? There was this woman, but she wouldn't make up her mind whether she was a woman or a man. Hello, I'm a Norwegian, and I would like you to help save BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed keeps me very uplifted during the 400 days of winter and darkness that we have in Norway. Beer is very expensive and I cannot drink myself to death. I read a lot of BuzzFeed articles hoping it will implode my brain and I'll have a stroke and end up in a coma. So please donate, donate, donate. <laughs> Help save BuzzFeed, Vox and Vice. Journalism will die and that'll be crap. I don't read any of it. But I've heard really good things from idiots. I love BuzzFeed, because I love lists. <laughs> I love Vox, because I like the writings of a child. <laughs> I like Vice, because I just get very bored. <laughs> and now some emotional music being played over the staff that will lose their jobs at BuzzFeed, Vox and Vice.
that moved me. <laughs> I'm not faking this crying. It's real. I just I cry weird, really weirdly. <laughs> What were we talking about? This needs a wash.